this is the calmest I've been in months. There's a man with a camera, and there's a light by me, and to be honest, I really don't know. But what I do know is I just got back from the best vacation of my life. I did some light reading, I enjoyed some cold ones, and I even had time with Mother Nature. It was truly the calmest I've ever been in months. But now, I'm back to reality, and let me tell you, it's been a struggle. I wake up every single day with anxiety that makes me want to have a panic attack. I'm 22 years old, I don't know where I'm going, I'm unemployed, I'm a graduate student who's taking out a lot of student loans, <laughs> and I don't even know if it's going to pay off. But what I do know, what I do know is that I've been assigned to make a documentary, to tell a story, and I said I'm going to have the bold courage, the audacity to cover my mental health. So ladies and gentlemen, we are about to dive in into what it's like to go inside my mind, to understand my anxiety, the nuances of it, and why it makes me who I am now. So get ready, buckle up, because it's going to be a wild ride. Anxiety affects me most in three major aspects. First being my relationships. Second, my workload. And third, when I'm lonely. All three of these really relate to my mental health in one way. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a deep dive into each aspect and see how it affects me and my mental health. So, let's get ready. Questions. About what? Um, about my anxiety. Uh, it's for a school project. Um, so I just want to ask you, like, about my anxiety and how it like affects our friendship, stuff like that. Does that sound good? Sure. All right. So, do you think that I'm like a, generally speaking, do you consider me to be like a, uh, an anxious person? What is like, what do you think is like one of the main things I do that kind of show my anxious, like my anxiety when you're around me? Like what's one of the big things that kind of indicates that I'm anxious? Yeah. Do you feel like it's um, put a, like a, a strain on our friendship in any way at all? Or? Okay. So when you, you say like I worry about every little thing, I guess, like, yeah. talk to me about that. Even, even if you don't 
So would you say I'm irrational? Hey Dad, can you talk for a minute? Yes, I can. How are you doing? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm good, man. You know, you just became, you become much more self-aware. And, uh, but, and, and see, your anxiety is what stress teachers out sometimes, I think. Like, when you get nervous and, you know, like tying your shoe, Ms. Rothel got on to you, you know? You just, yeah. there was, there was some, some anxiety tied into all of that for you, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's really not So when I'm alone, I never really know what to do. I, I get overwhelmed. I, I can't stay in one place for too long. So I'm going to try to go find things to do to keep myself occupied so I don't get too lonely. There's ways to find friends beyond just spending time with people. You can make friends with the world. And we're going to do that. Books. So many books. Okay, coffee. Okay, medicine, edit, work, breathe. Okay, back to work. Here I am again on my second vacation. I just want to thank you so much for coming along with me on this fun, exciting journey. You know, vacations, you get to sit back and relax, and I'm just so glad you could be here with me to do that. But I think I need to be real with you about something. Um, <laughs> well, this has been fun, 
and it's been exciting, and it's been relaxing and chill. My anxiety is not that way. And so while I've tried to make this look like a cutesy adventure, it's not. Anxiety is really, really hard. There are times I wake up and I don't even know how I'm gonna deal with the day. You know, it's, I, I have to, I wake up and I, I have to really push myself to get out of bed because I'm just so anxious about what the day has in store for me. You know, I, I care about the people in my life dearly, but sometimes I can be really difficult to deal with because it, I'm just plagued by insecurity and anxieties. So I've made this look fun. I've staged this whole thing. I've tried my best to make this as accessible as possible, but I think I'm realizing that anxiety is a very subjective thing and it's not going to be very accessible. And making this project has been difficult. Doing all of this, all these, these vacations I've set up, it's all kind of a facade. And I think I've learned something as I've been doing this. As I've been making this project and, and working on this project, you know, like I thought the answer to this was to just talk about it in a cutesy way, to uh, make it fun, make it exciting. I wanted my audience to really engage. And I, and I think I've accomplished that, but I think in the process of doing that, I've kind of lost my voice. I haven't really talked candidly about my anxiety. And so I think I owe it to you to do that. And so, I'm gonna take this damn thing off, cause, well, there we go. Let me take a seat. As I've dealt with this more, and worked through it more, I've realized the only thing that can truly help is by talking about it. Yeah, I take medicine, and I can go to therapy as much as I want, but being open about it with other people, I think that's the key to trying to find some sort of remedy. You know, it's, it's easy to bottle this up and it's easy to mask this, but I'm tired of doing that. I wanna be open about my anxiety. I, my anxiety. I wanna talk about it with other people because I know that a lot of other people deal with this too. And so I think right now we're living in an age where there is a lot of mental health issues and a lot of people are scared to talk about it, but I wanna say right now, it's okay to talk about it. It's okay to be open about it, and it's okay to be vulnerable. Some of life's most valuable moments happen when we're open and raw. And so that's what I'm gonna do. So just know that if you're dealing with anxiety or depression or any sort of mental health issue, you're not alone. I deal with it, and I promise you a lot of other people do too. So while you might want everything to be okay, and while I might try to make everything in my life be a vacation, the reality of it is that it's not. And so I hope that you've enjoyed this vacation with me. I've enjoyed it, but just know that vacations are temporary. But the struggles we deal in life, those will always happen. They're, they're constant. And it's okay to struggle. Just try to struggle together with other people and talk about it. That's the most important thing you can do. And that's what I'm trying to do too. So I hope this whole project, this whole experiment, I hope it's helped. Um, I know it's been hard for me to be open, but I really, really hope that it encourages you to be open too. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go finish my margarita and uh, try my best to just enjoy, enjoy my life. <laughs> That was fun. I don't know, I kind of dripped. You could have you could have walked over there to go and get your margarita. Yeah. Wanna go and get it yeah, now? Yeah, go get it. We should probably cut, couldn't we? Just like yeah.